Hello shippers out there, welcome back to our channel, and today I have something to tell you that last, I don't know, I've been into redstone and here's what I got. So the redstone is going to be, I'm going to explain the redstone real quick, but if you, if you guys see over here, this is a piston door, but there's no inputs. If I just going to place this, it's not going to work, and if I'm just going to do it, it's not going to work. If I'm going to place a lever or something, it's not going to work, but if you put a lever or a button in a specific place, for example here, and you press it, that piston door will open and will close itself. And you can just go back by the standard um, pressure play style. So this is super easy, especially if you're playing with um, someone, you know, people you don't know what to do. People will not know what to do, and yeah, they will not notice that there's a secret key over there you need to activate just by pressing a button or by flicking a lever. So let's just crack into the tutorial. So to build it, it's super simple. This is all the circuit you need to make, you need to create, it's just super easy, you just, I don't know, maybe you can just do 2x2 two two piston doors, but I prefer 3x3 three three piston, 2x3 piston doors, because that is like one of the best piston doors ever. And right here we just, just got our redstone dust right there, it's going to power this piece of repeater, going into the pulse extender, and then going to this NOT gate right here, okay, so the, the repeater is going to power this, and that creates the NOT gate, and you're gonna take the output from that NOT gate into the other NOT gate over here. So, yeah, if you don't understand NOT gate, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm probably just going to make a video about that soon. So, it's super simple, so let's just build it, shall we? So, to build this, I prefer to start with placing where you're going to make the door. So, I'm just gonna use sandstone as my block of choice. You can use every movable object in Minecraft. You can use iron blocks or something. So you want to put this right here to power this piston right here and I'm gonna do the same on the other side right there and cover this here right there. So right here you're gonna mark this place with a button and below that put a redstone dust, behind that put a block and behind that put a redstone torch and above the redstone torch Put a piston facing, wait, facing to the block right there. Okay, perfect. So here's just a quick show. See, it's going to quickly or self break the button. So you have um, an invisible um, input. So right here, you want to place a repeater, set it to three ticks, and a repeater set it to one tick right there. Oh, sorry, sorry. You need to do it one block below. So three ticks, one tick, redstone dust. And right here clear this many space. Right here put a repeater, put two redstone dusts, put a comparator, put a comparator, and right here put a redstone dust. So here is the main circuit done. So basically when you power this piece of redstone dust, it's going to power this repeater going into the pulse extender over here, which previously, um, I mean, before the pulse extender worked, it's going to open the door and it's going to lengthen the pulse just enough until you can walk firmly and safely through the door. So right here, you want to make the AND gate just by doing this and simply connect it to the other door right here. Just remember to don't put it uh, in line with the redstone torch because that was not that is not going to work. So we can do this, this, run it class, and there you go. That's the whole piston door done. You just want to close, but do not close it right here because that will cut the signal, um, the redstone signal. And sure, do not do it this as well over here. And yeah, it's not so big, and it's not so expensive. I mean, the expensive parts like comparators, you know, the quartz and the pistons, sticky pistons, but yeah, it's worth, it's worth it, okay? So, I wanted to cover this whole stuff, and remember, do not forget to put the two pressure plates of choice, you can do, you can use any, any types of pressure plates you want, you know, even blackstones or 
weighted pressure plates like the iron one and the gold one it's fine it's work it's what it, it will work okay so let's just open the door you need to remember that this block is right here the specific block I mean yeah this block is the block you need to power okay not this one it will open but yeah it won't break itself so you have to take some time break the, the door um the button and you will probably going to run out of time so put it right there power the piston walk close there you go and right here just go back right there that is the whole circuit done this is super simple and it's not so expensive as um and yeah it's secure because there's no visible um inputs or stuffs and just need to put either a lever or a button over here and the door opens that is all i got for this video guys thank you so much for watching and if you're interested to make this you can definitely make this because it's not that expensive but one thing i want to tell you is that a pulse extender is 100% required for this because for example if I just remove this pulse extender it will be super quick that you will have no time to walk through the door so remember just to make this pulse extender if you want to play, replace that with the block um, with the redstone it's fine but yeah I think one redstone dust is super important so you just need a block over here because it's hard powered by the comparator so there are some bit the redstone dust can be powered, so yeah. That is all I got for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and don't forget to comment, subscribe, and see you guys next episode. Bye!